Hello, I'm John Proctor on the channel John West. I'm having a Dan Gang Romper 2. Goodbye, despair adventure, and I'm going to go on this roller coaster. Yes, I am. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go on it, but I'm going to visit the area. At the very least, there we go. Everyone's all gathered here. Yo. Yo. Everyone here? Want me to tell you? Hey, want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat. We ride that roller coaster together. Hey, hey. I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you? I get crazy classic. Ah! Right, so he's not the murderer then. Because somebody's gonna get on a vehicle and he can't because he gets crazy classic. Yeah. Don't have to dodge bullets anymore. Because I'm Neo. I'm the Neo of solving anime puzzles before they even happen. We'll see. What? Welcome to the main attraction of the amusement park. The great ultra delicious coaster. Hey, hey! Is it really true we'll get a prize for riding this thing? Of course! Sure thing! What's the prize? No way! Of course, making sure. He's only on the headphones. Oh no, that's the surprise for you after you ride this. This is bad. Hey, we really have to ride this together. What are you saying? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? Shut up! Shut up! No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> now, now, it'll be fine. Frill rides a sweet. I already know. Everyone who likes them all always says that, but I already know they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility that the prize is going to be those ship parts, you know. Ah. Uh, uh, that might be true, but... Um... Might I ask, where will this ride take us? Well, back here. Nope. It won't take us anywhere. It's just going to circle around and come back here. Um... What is the meaning behind that? You see? Have you never gone to an amusement park? I am ashamed! I am embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. Fine. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen well! But it was an amusement park in hell, fire filled with man-eating demons. Let's drink some cold tea, because I faffed before I started recording. There are amusement parks in hell. Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey, hey! Don't do it, Sonia. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall up offer up your blood as tribute. That is... Oh. Oh. That is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used as an entrance fee. Are you kidding me? Ha! Huh. Does this mean my Sonya? Hey. Everyone. Let's not dwell on that, shall we? Hey, everyone. It's just going to be a waste of time if we sign around like this. See? Why don't we try riding it? That's obviously wrong. Hold on. Why do we have to just try hot riding it? <laughs> now, Kamaru, can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it. Please let me go. Ah. Let me go. But despite his desperate struggling, Kazuchi got stuffed into the roller coaster. Shall I move my face? Now then. All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster! With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. Yeah! He's just annoyed he didn't get to sit next to the princess. Although we could have swapped seats. I like how happy he looks though. But yay! 
Fall. We've arrived? How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go on it one more time. All right. I agree. Once more. Stop it! No! Freaking way! Hey, hey. More importantly, there's our treat. Yes, indeed. Here you go. The treat is a file. Huh? The symbol. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. So this file must be... The Future Foundation file. Okay, I'm just gonna... It's the Monokuma file! No, it's not. A file from the Future Foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hey. Is it alright if I check inside? Here! Hang on, my face is slowly off screen, I don't know Sure thing! Do whatever you like! He gathered around Nagato as he received the file. Crazy, crazy Nagato. And he st and stared at him intently as he carefully turned the pages. Ah! Um... Just gonna put myself like that. So that's the end of the first game. That's that's um, Mondo throwing the bear. That'd be our first meeting since uh, Junko's still there. Um, Junko is still there as well. I can't tell what that is, but obviously that's when. Uh, Toko stabbed Aoi. Okay, that's interesting. Hope Speak Academy ironically became the site for the, for the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to the limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the b killing began. The killing committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtains certainly suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind who paid with their life. Ah, oh, it's just, yeah, we've seen this picture before. With this, six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Wait! Hey! Aren't those... aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? Then, what does this mean? Yeah, because Bayakuya's there. Why is he in this photo? I look down to where Nagito was pointing. Ah? Huh? Stop by them. He was much thinner, as if he'd been an entirely different person. But he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Bayakuya Tagami. He looks exactly like him, the first victim on this island. What? This definitely looks like Bayakuya. Impossible! Why is Bayak Bayakuya... Why? He's, he's pronounced it wrong. That's a, a typo, isn't it? Um, why, why is Bayak Bayakuya... Kapajavashalab! Why is his photo in there? This is. What does this mean? Hey, 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 hey! Like, hey. what's this killing school trip they're all talking about? Yep. It looks like the killings we're involved in. We're involved in resemble 
these sets of killings had happened before. And that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hey, bastard! Hold on. Did these fucked up killings actually happen inside THE Hope's Peak Academy? That's obviously impossible! That's not possible! Oh, he was so happy on the ride! There's no way the teachers or police would let that happen. Let me ask. However, what if the Future Foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? What? You mean the organization was the one who took over Hope's Peak Academy then? Of course not! That's not possible! How stupid! <sighs> If Bayakuya was still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. What if we don't remember? How unfortunate. However... We lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Bayakuya as well. Also, Bayakuya never said a word about such a past actually existing. Let me tell you this. Well, he was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. Ah, perhaps that's what Bayakuya was planning to talk to me about. Uh, okay, we, remember, we all remember this scene. Was he specifically referring to the killing school life? Hey. Anyway, as long as Bayakuya is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. It's almost as if you shouldn't fucking murder him. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hope's Peak Academy relate to this island? Hey, um... The only thing I can say is... It's true! All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. You? Then give them back. Give those memories back to us. No, no! The Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. You gave someone a virus that gave them back their memories, like, a day ago. Impossible. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. <laughs> ah, this isn't making any sense. How fucking annoying. Hey! Whatever, man. Just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. However, I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the funhouse should still be left. This, too, must be the will of causality. Based on what I've heard. Heard. So that's a strange way, didn't I? Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we're all gathered together, correct? Correct! Ding, ding, correct! That's right. The treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. Hey! Then the ship parts should be there too, right? Not just the ship parts, if he means all the treats. That also includes our Hope's Peak Academy student profiles. Which means a clue about my talent should be there too. It might be a trap. It might be a trap. But. But. It's like we've already caught in a trap. Then, everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the fun house. However... I see. Is that really all right? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? No, that's... that's Monomi's house. But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hajime's talent too. But what if I'm talentless? I mean, Hajime. I already know I'm talentless, but Hajime? What if he's talentless? Yep. Fine. Oh, sorry, that was Hajun. Fine. I think we should listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. <laughs> Looks like you guys have decided. I can't wait! I can't wait! I have things to prepare, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. Hmm. I'm not really on board with this idea, but... If everyone, everyone says they're going to go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall engulf this world. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it is uh, then it's decided. 
Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that Future Foundation file, but... I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make any sense. It felt like... I felt like... I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that. I just need to get on this train, right? What do you think, Jackie? Mm. I'm not really on board with this idea. Because... <laughs> Because of the train and you get on board a train. See what you did there, Jackie! Well? If everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go on with everyone. Have we used all the secret items yet? Uh. That's right, huh? I don't think I'll, it'll be as fun as the roller coaster. Huh. Well, I guess whatever we find in the fun house will be worth it. You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? Oh, I don't know who it is. I just need to get on this train, right? No way! Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey! I'm not gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. Alright! Let's go! As soon as we stepped on, the small train started slowly moving, and we went inside the dim tunnel. And there's no, there's no earthly, hang on, there's no earthly way of knowing which way this train is going, but, the, oh, I don't remember, I'm trying to do the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory line. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the Funhouse! Well, he gets to sit with Jackie this time. Poor Emmy he still doesn't get to sit next to the princess. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. Fun in this corner. Is this gas? Damn it. This was definitely a trap. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft, like mollusks. Okay. Really? Like mollusks? I mean, I guess mollusks are soft, but. Oh, whatever. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness -ness -ness. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, you may have noticed I'm level 50. Yeah, I did that off screen. I'll explain why in a bit. When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before, the funhouse. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is this? Funhouse? However, when I looked over at Nakamura standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Man, I slept so good. Oh my. Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seemed that the others started to wake up as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Oh, me. I'm an idiot. Yeah, all of us are there. Why was I sleeping at a place like this? You sleep on all sorts of places. Good night. Well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. That's obviously wrong. No, don't. See, you seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assume that this was the gas is doing. Damn it! That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome to the Strawberry House! Okay, maybe that should be the name of the episode. Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Yep. Of course it's the fun house! Strawberry House is a part of the fun house! <clears throat> a part, you say? Allow me to explain! Somebody's going to get killed here. Well, just put me in the corner. You're currently in the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy! Now then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up. And I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like... BOOM! The guest rooms are divided by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof. And has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room... <laughs> Sorry, I love the term crummy room. Has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of the Strawberry House. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. It's all like BOOM! You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall. And when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom, boom. I don't know what that means. Um, it's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get the feel for what the inside of the Strawberry Tower is like. This concludes the tour, but I think it was a difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. What's this song called? Re Mr. Monokuma, okay. So you should use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, well, yeah, we have questions, obviously. What's this? Really? Really? What's your question, really? What do you... To bring us to a place like this. What are you planning to make us do this time? That's right. I have lots of questions. Let's start with that one first. Hmm? Didn't I just explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. You didn't even give me a couple of days. Yeah! An escape game! The escape game. In other words, the concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope's Peak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey! Um... There's only one way to get out of this closed building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. <laughs> let the escape game begin. Hmm. Huh? What? What the fuck? Damn it. We can't get out of here till the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. 
How foolish of me! If only I had erected a magic barrier. Well, this is a new face. I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. How did you get knocked out? I let my guard down and end up falling as. Yeah, but whatever. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Hey! Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make him move. <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh! That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the goodnight button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you? It puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Who had the chance to do that then? I guess because of the smoke one committed it. Hey, hey. Do you even need sleep? <laughs> In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. I mean, he's not even listening. How pitiful. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such a sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um. Anyway, Mekamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder! He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen again! Hey, hey. For now, why did we look for, for the exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope! <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we've got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right! Then Akane, you come with me! Huh? That's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be... Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. Wow. When you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Game just called attention to that. Bastard! Drop it, bastard! You. Hey, if we're gonna go, gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia. I guess it's time we also. However... Sonya already left with Gundam. Oh my! Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, you got dumped. Of course not! Idiot, I didn't get dumped! Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular! That's obviously not true. Oh, don't be mean to him. Now then. I, I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Hey. Jackie, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? That's fine, but. <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuchi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well. Call it a hunch. But maybe Kazuchi can't stop thinking about it, you know? But the possibility that you're the traitor? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was just. I was just. Just what Kazuchi was feeling. I mean... Well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does it mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? Dude, you've been with, like, Mikan this entire time and she murdered two people. That's obviously wrong. Like that matters. It's not like I don't know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mikan. There you go. Just made the same point I did. The real me? Huh? And then the only reason we're here is because you are the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right! It's not that far-fetched, you know. It's 
points out Pokemon. No, I guess it's not. Uh, I'm sorry, Hachime. I really do want to trust you. Hmm. But I can't just yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with, Ch with Nagato either. But you're saying Nagato is more trustworthy than me. What the hell? Damn it! Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuchi? Hmm. Ah, but... It's fine, Jackie. Just go. Just go, Jackie. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. No, I didn't mean it! With that, Kazuchi, Jackie, and Nagato all left together to explore the area, <clears throat> leaving me with the robot. I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not, not a traitor. I'm not the traitor. Oh. oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like some sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. You know, I, I thought there was a monokuma there. <laughs> no matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. Okay, they did this in Zero Escape, uh, which is why I'm thinking it, that the, the walls are computerised, and therefore could look like other walls, like there might not be three floors, there might be just two, or something, we'll show how it works. Uh, no matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might get... S I might start getting... I might start to get sick of them. Oh? According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor, floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. It says Hajime. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain? Fine, I... I, I I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Uh. Oh, I can walk around. Huh? I've been found. Right, so I was trying to keep this secret. So I'll pretend that I didn't click on it. Keep all secret. Never mind. Hmm. According to the map. There should be guest rooms and a lounge on the second floor. Oh! Alright! I should go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, I got it. Crummy room. Wanted to use to communicate with us. The future foundation is behind this. The fact that Monokuma uses this screen means he's their ally. Monami, Monokuma, the future foundation, they're all our enemies. 
definitely be. Just gonna look at everything. Big crummy room. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? go into the lounge. Hmm, so this is the lounge. It's also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. Guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is. But knowing the time isn't going to help things. It will with a murder. Because one person has perfect time and some one of them can change the time. Portrait, but of who? Hmm. Of whom? There's no per portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? Seems very out of place. Also, the placard on this portrait. Who Hope's Pig Academy founder is Zero Kamukura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope's Peak Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? No, it's got pictures of grapes on it. When I walk towards the telephone, I immediately notice this. Oh, it actually is grapes. What, what is this? Instead of numbered button, it's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't even know where it was connecting to. This, too, must be the will of Jeez. causality. What's going on? My four dark devas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Oh, did he knock out my hamsters as well? That's really cool. That could kill a hamster, surely. Listen! Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too so soon to give up. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Alright, I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. I'll go check it out, shall I? Hey, hey! What do you want to talk about? Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know what a guy like me has has no right to say this to you, but <laughs> but when I look to look at you, I just have to say something. What? Then spit it out. Hey! You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? So? The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed themselves for you. Sorry, I, you get what you're saying. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? 
should I go? I probably shouldn't be in the room right now. Like... Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling, too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So... But it's like it said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. Damn it. But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Huh? Are you crying? I... Right now. I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so you're trying to say that... What are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. No, I'm trying to... Let me grab the monokuma! Fuyuhiko took the time to really talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Obviously, the funny thing to do right now is to go really back in. Right, this is my room. Love the skull. The model 2 is used to get. No, no, I don't care about that. Is that an, what is that in the background? Oh, is that the bed? No, that's the bed there. What the hell is that? Is that an arcade machine? Jeez! However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Yoko and Ibuki. Those two are quite the noisy bunch. It's as if a fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. <laughs> but then I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. It's like a holographic place, but I don't get why. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or, or the second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. <laughs> this building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I ca can't take a peaceful shit like this, preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is definitely defective. How does... Looks like this is the bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. Shit! When in the world is my constipation gonna be fixed? What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. I was just thinking, why strawberry? Hmm. Sorry, that was me thinking. Why is that? Mm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What was that conversation just now? Huh? What? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but... 
It's never gonna be zero, no matter what. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry. Someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Alright. There we go. We have ourselves a Monokuma. I believe he can't die. I thought I'd... I thought I'd get stuff for that. Maybe he needs to turn into an egg. Ah! Isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second floor and third floor. Does that mean there's also a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. Ground. G for ground. G for grape. S for stairs, S for strawberries. Nah, that's dumb. Um, it's the same as the telephone. Maybe you need to. The telephone opens up the door. Maybe. What will happen if I press this? So and so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? You're out of order, mate. Don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. Let me in anyway, so let's try. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon. The fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Ultimate weapon? Sorry. But I'm qu it's quite late. Um, now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is gonna do that? What is it, how Jermaine? Did you find something? That final dead room sound, place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if... All you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Who said that? Now then, the others should be at the Strawberry Tower. The, at, the, at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's spirit. get going already! Okay, so I'm going to let you go, because that's that's clearly a, a kind of threshold, isn't it? Also, I, I like this effect. This effect is cool. So yes, I've been John Foxy on channel John of I am going to let you go. I've been having a Dran Gan Romper 2. Goodbye, Despair Adventure, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.